Say it with the chest. Doritos. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. Chocolate goddess. Oh, no, You know, I, I just have a finals feels all over again. Um, I think the atmosphere was incredible. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think uh, just I had finals feels all over again. Uh, the atmosphere was incredible, you know, especially when uh, Chicago Sky players were being announced. Um, it just felt so amazing to be a part of something so special. Also, you know, we're, we're a part of Sylvia and um, Sue's legacy here at being at their last All-Star game. So I think that the fans in the city really came out, and it was a great place for us to celebrate. And just a quick follow-up, that moment in the second quarter, Candace, like, got in your face, tried to lock you up. <laughs> I know what you like to do. I know what you like to do. Of course you do. <laughs> so yeah, I got it. I'm gonna hear this for the rest of the year. So we we're, we're definitely gonna have to win a championship so uh, we can forget about this part of the season. First road to your left. Uh, thanks, Jonathan Tannenbaum of the Philadelphia Inquirer. Kalia, when Commissioner Engelbert was in here before the game, she talked about the possibility of maybe playing an All-Star game sometime in a city that doesn't yet have a WNBA yet. Yeah, well, F Philly? You said Philly? Philly sound like a good would, place? <laughs> would you like to see it? And what would you like to see Philly do next in the expansion process? Uh, I, I would definitely like to, to, to see my city do, do something. Um, I think it's, it would be a great place um, uh, for women's basketball to really start. Uh, but um, also for All-Star, you know, it's a, it's a good city, great food, great people. So, yeah. Um, following up on what Candace said, um, I, I saw at halftime you gave her a look, <laughs> like she was trying to, like she was saying something to you. Did you feel the competition, like ele elevate as the game went on? And uh, yeah, can you give us any more insight on what you and Candace were saying to each other? It's funny because we have the moments where we're we're going at it, and then we came to each other, and I'm like, she's like. I don't like being uh, across from you. I don't, I don't like this. I'm like, yeah, me either. So let, let's just let, let it be over and then let, let's get back on the same side. So it was a, it was a good balance of, uh, and like, I miss you. <laughs> Next question, second row center. Quelt, did you know um, late in the game how many points you had scored that you were getting, that you and Kelsey were both getting close to a record for points? Or, like, um, the, only, the only way I... Well, when I knew was when Dierica came to me. She was like, how many points do you need for the record so I can stop you from getting it? <laughs> so so that's, that was the only time I knew I really was. I mean, I saw the points, but I didn't know it was close to a record. Uh, Lila Bromberg, the Hartford Current. Uh, JJ, kind of going off of that, what was your approach with those uh, four-point shots? Yeah, just I, I practiced them um, starting yesterday, and then I shot a lot in the warm-ups. Um, so, you know, I felt com comfortable and comfortable comfortable and confident shooting them. So, um, yeah, that's all I was thinking about was just getting them up. Oh, that's it. Anyone else in the room? Oh, that's me. That's you, girl? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me. All right. That's it. Thank you. Nice. Thank you.